So I woke up this morning, I got my breakfast, my coffee, I sat down at my computer, I opened up the channel, looked at the comments. And a user, KP, a subscriber, thank you, left a comment on my Fringe Connection video, which I did about a year and a half ago. I actually recently rediscovered this movie. I thought it was pretty awesome. I even made a class watch this movie. And KP says, apparently, Disney has removed a scene from the Fringe Connection with offensive language from this film on the Criterion channel. Now, I read that and I was pretty skeptical, so I scoured the internet, looked at Twitter, tried to figure out, is this true or not? And for a long while, I thought, well, they were just making this up. First of all, I don't think Disney has this movie. Disney Plus has this movie. Second of all, Criterion Channel? Criterion? Really? Would they actually censor something and not tell us? And the answer is yes, they actually did. I went to the Criterion Channel. I'm a longtime subscriber. I'm an initial subscriber. Opened up French Connection, and they have indeed removed the scene. The scene involves nasty, brutal cop Popeye Doyle, played by Gene Hackman, and you're in the police department, and he uses the N-word for black people, the offensive racial slur. They've decided to remove this scene ostensibly because of that. A problem, one, here's one problem, the scene has context, and not only that, in the scene, Popeye Doyle says, he doesn't just say never trust a blankety blank, he says never trust anyone. That's really important to the character, the aura, the thematic material, to the story itself. Now this just isn't one of those like pre-movie title cards where they tell you something offensive is gonna come and you'll gird your loins because you're gonna be really offended. Some kind of trigger warning. They didn't don't even have a warning on the website or anywhere that I can find. The scene is just completely snipped out or the little bit of it is just snipped out of the movie entirely. Now if you're a thinking or reasonable person like me, you're gonna try to figure out their point of view or where they're coming from, why they would do this. And so I understand this. I did a whole video on this where I talked about this general problem of movie watching as description versus prescription. Just check out that video. I mean, clearly the theory is they think if somebody watches this movie, hears that word, they're going to think that the movie affirms the word, that the channel itself, like Criterion itself affirms the word, and that they're even teaching people to use it in any kind of way they want. They're affirming of that word in some kind of way, shape, or form. That's the prescriptive way to watch this movie in this scene. But, and here's the, my big, big problem with this, Criterion has long treated us as adults, and to me, Criterion has been against censorship in any form whatsoever. Their number one mission, as far as I can tell, is the curation and preservation of film, and all of film for film history, the last 120 plus years of it. Whether Disney did this, which is entirely plausible, or Disney made Criterion do this, or whether some mid-level person at Criterion did this without the top brass's knowledge, still, this is Criterion's responsibility. And to me, they're effectively going against their mission statement, which is to preserve film, which is a work of art, films are works of art in their original form so that we can understand them, see them in their historical context, think about all the ramifications of that, and see it as an artwork as messy and screwed up as some of them are. Therefore, you can easily watch this scene as descriptive. We're describing, the movie's describing Popeye Doyle, his point of view about black people. We can see that in the movie. He beats them up, he harasses them, and they haven't removed that from the movie. They've just removed the word. What are they thinking, that the magic word is worse than the images of brutality and violence? Come on. But the scene clearly describes is Popeye Doyle's paranoia, his, you know, corruption, his, you know, distrust of anybody, you know, the, the nasty scene in New York City, and those William Freakins creating sort of a hellish New York City in which the cops have to survive and, you know, take out drug dealers and other kinds of people like that. So this is Popeye Doyle's point of view. This isn't the movie's point of view, necessarily. It's not Freakins, it's not Hackman's. It's not Criterion's, it's not Disney's, and nobody's except for Popeye Doyle's. That's an adult way to watch this movie, and you're taught in literature class and 101, I don't care if it's middle school, to think that way about what characters are saying and how to interpret what they're saying. Therefore, to snip this out of the movie, it's against Criterion's mission statement, it's against the history and preservation of films as works of art, and it's just plain offensive to me and my sensibilities. One problem here possibly is hypocrisy. My criterion's been against censorship for a long time, as I said. They've always talk, played up the pre-Hays Code movies prior to Hays Code censorship. They've always talked about you know religious oppression and certain characters in movies being religious oppressors who are trying to censor or harass open kinds of pe people who are trying to be open, people who have new sexuality, other kinds of things like that. And so here, they're doing exactly what they said I think they were against. Censorship, cutting things out in order to shape works of art, in order to control morality, ideology, 
and generally speaking, the social narratives. Now you might consider this just a simple little thing, an error, a one-time thing, maybe somebody screwed up, maybe some mid-level person got you know too hyper about this and just cut out one little scene, doesn't make a big difference, but the thing about this is they don't tell us. So Criterion, can we ever trust them to present an entire movie in its entirety, warts and all, bad morality and all, and preserve that thing as it was, as it was made in its day. The problem they've created for themselves now is they're taking a morality that's fairly new, you know, hatred of this one particular word, which I think in 1970, 72, was a lot of people didn't like that word, thought it was offensive, didn't like what Popeye Doyle was saying, and understood who he was in the movie. But if their mission is to preserve all film for all time, they're gonna run into all kinds of horrible portrayals they're gonna hate from you know, cultural stereotypes to animal violence, all kinds of things they might be tempted to censor. And thus, can I trust them on their channel, even on their discs, to keep movies as they were so that I, as a historian, and I like movies as they were, I want to see the whole thing, including director's cuts, I want to see the full thing and decide for myself what I think about it. And because they treated us as children and didn't tell us, I feel like I can't trust them much anymore. Even just a one-time offense on this, they've chosen one kind of ethic, which is to censor movies by any whim, by any moral standard, whichever one that is, versus preserve movies and keep them and curate them and so on. So that's against completely, as I said many times, against their mission statement, and it means that they've changed their point of view, perhaps. Therefore, I can't really recommend Criterion much anymore. I've done that a lot on this channel. They've never paid me. I've always touted their channel, which is very cheap and has wonderful curation on it as an excellent service. Also their discs, most of them, in fact, all of them are amazing. And here they are, they've got movies like In the Heat of the Night. They've got a method acting, you know, a group of films now. They put that out there in June, 2023, In the Heat of the Night. And I wonder, did they censor that? Like, I don't know, how could I tell? I'd have to watch the original movie on the original disc and compare it, but can I really trust them to present that as it was? I'm not sure. That's my rant. It's a sad and unfortunate event, but it is true that, uh, you know, the censorship of history, which I've read 1984 so many times, it's unbelievable. And you now this is the kind of thing that goes on in Winston Smith's life in the Ministry of Truth, snipping things out, changing the historical record. That is what's going on here. Totally unfortunate. What do you think of this? Let us know in the comments. And well, should I say please subscribe? I guess please subscribe, but I don't really want to get anything out of making this video other than to say Criterion can't trust you much anymore. And The French Connection is a movie I absolutely strongly recommend for anybody watching movies because it is an amazing movie. It will provoke people to great new artistic heights if you watch it and study it. You might become a great script writer, great director, great actor. It has everything great in it. So it's an amazing movie. Watch it and watch it in full.